hey, this is Shiraz, and before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I clear it for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. Let's go with your event, 13th to 15th. Yep. I haven't firmly committed yet, but I was going to promote my business on the 15th. And you okay. were just saying that the VIP, you know, that's that day. Will it be recorded, by the way? Yep. But, but of course, I'd have to work through it. I wouldn't get my own personal attention. And that is bringing up for me um, my husband's comment to something to the degree of, I'm doing all these trainings and learnings. And yes, he will lump you into that instead of doing my business. Okay. And I'm just trying to figure out, I'm not looking for a balance. I'm looking for something inside of me to know, am I just searching so much and avoiding the business, uh, genuinely trying to build the business by learning? You know, should I really go to the, the show and get the recording, you know, like things like that. How do I, how do I make that decision? Am I ever going to really know, am I avoiding or am I trying to better myself? Okay. Am I, am I avoiding my business building, trying to better myself or is it really, are they combined and he can't see that. Something. So you have, you have, you have to look at see how much effort are you actually putting into physically bringing people to your business. Yeah. Right. How often are you speaking? How often are you networking? How often are you on sales calls? When you are not making as much money as you want in your business, at least fifty percent of your time should be going into tasks that are involved marketing your business. Okay. Okay. If more than 50% of your time is on education and training, that's not helping your business. That, that's helping right. you personally, but if you want the business to go, you've got to do those tasks. Okay. okay. So it's like, I, I speak at least twice a week in my right. business, right? Uh, so I'm speaking tomorrow, I'm, I'm hosting, I've got one of the tracks on uh, Martin Slava's Life Summit, and then, the day after that, I am in Embrace the Woo. Right. Right. And yesterday, I was on a radio show in Australia. And and I think on Friday, I'm on another show. And so, like, this is, I'm, I'm there. Everyone sees me all the time. Like, people just like, you're everywhere. Right. Right. So that brings people in. That's one, one thing you want to be doing. Now, here's, here's where there's a crossover, is some of the courses I take, I get clients from them, right? Either through referrals or through other students, and I and I do that strategically. Okay. okay. So that's why while I'm learning, I'm also growing my business. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have that mindset going on too. But okay. if you're just learning and learning and learning, so that at some point you could then grow your business, you're actually shying away from your business. You should constantly right. be looking for that expansion in your business. Okay. Okay. So you have to decide where you are in that, in that range there. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing more education, learning things than I'm spending time in trying to bring in the clients. Okay. So like if I looked at that weekend yeah. and I have the opportunity to be at a show, to meet new people, yeah. it would make more sense for me to be out there at it, especially if I'm paying for the recording and I've definitely learned to um, move myself with your particular work anyways. Um, 
Okay. Yeah. What so this is about that. And, and then, big... yeah, so my husband has exactly the right point. It just hurts when right. a loved one says it to you, yeah. but he's, he's seeing like, Hey, you're learning, you're learning, but where's the money coming in? Yeah. And he's not even aware of the money going out. And I, I nab freebies too. Yeah. And then I'm looking at it going, no, no, no freebie or not. Yeah. I need to be bringing the people in and looking after them yeah. so that I can raise the income. So now here's, here's where it gets, you, you, you've got to do this right. Networking okay. events are great events where your target events, where your clients are, be there, interact, see, look for clients. One thing I have learned is that when you're at an event that you have to pay to be at, everyone is at that event that they paid to be at. Therefore, everyone there is willing to invest in themselves. They're more likely to buy from you if they resonate with you. Okay, right. Right? But you have to watch that because now you're paying. And if you... If you're not doing this strategically, you're paying and you're losing money because you're not getting clients at the events. Right. right. I, yes. I typically, with, with flight and hotels and stuff, I typically spend about $2,000 for events across the country, but I typically land $10,000 in clients. So right. it's profitable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whereas when I do these shows, I mean, I'm paying 40 bucks <laughs> for, you know, for a table to, you know, have people come around and, and meet and we chat and they put their name in the draw and then follow up doesn't happen. And <laughs> that's okay. the part that's yeah. got a problem in it as well. So yeah. you, you have to get better with your follow up. I do. Uh, you have to, you have to get people engaged with you and your story. Right. All right. Re remember as much, even though you you there's that element of they they need what I do, right? They're really go going to buy you, right? Is this yes. the person I want to work with, right? right. So you want to get them engaged that way, right? And and it's fine if you're doing. I mean, everyone starts somewhere. I remember I did the free events. I did the forty dollar tables. I I built my way up, but right. when you when you get this, that at least fifty percent is is to bring in those clients, then that's when you're going to have that impact on your business. Okay. Okay. That right. is extremely valuable to me because now I have a, a number. I have a better way. Not that I'm a math person. I just have a different way now of looking at it that isn't as emotional. And, and so then, yeah, I, I can take my emotion out of it and go, Hey, you're not doing enough. Um, you're not doing the activities to bring in the money that you actually want to be bringing in, like, so that I can help the household. Yeah. Which then means he doesn't have to look at it and go, you're doing these meetings. You're not getting, yeah. and, and then I can do that extra day of work or parts of it when my husband's at work or he's yeah. gone to bed early because he's got to be up early. And I can just sit with that for a few minutes or hours and work on me again to help build and be more prepared for working with everyone that I'm trying to draw to me. Yep. But here, here's the thing. Work on you every single day. Yeah. You just okay, don't spend the whole day right. working on you. Right? Okay. <laughs> just smaller amounts. Yes. 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 So, or, or it can still be a large amount as long as my working was larger. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still part time, so there's room okay. in my day to do more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank cool. you for that. It was, yeah, it wasn't really about moving something. It was more about getting it out of me, like to to work it in my brain. This yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But I can still do the VIP, and I can go out and promote myself. Yep. So I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.